Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Uh, what I've got to show you today, this is an Epiphone, and this is a Les Paul Standard. And what's unique about this one is it is made in Korea. Uh, so they're available uh, if you look online in your used section hard enough. Uh, they're becoming uh, harder to find because they're uh, a bit revered now. People are sort of tweaking to the fact uh, that they're a really good quality. And uh, I can attest that is certainly the case with this guitar. I've had about uh, four of these Korean Epiphones. Uh, this one is not mine. This is on loan. Um, but it certainly holds true to the pattern I noticed, and that is that they are great guitars. Uh, they have the uh, Klusen style tuners, which I really like, and uh, I don't think they function any better than the Grovers. I just really like the cosmetics. Uh, it suits the whole vibe of a Les Paul. I love these greenish plastic buttons and uh, <clears throat> the, the binding on the fingerboard is really well done on these. There's not uh, fret end binding like you would find on the Gibson. However, it's done so well uh, that it feels fantastic playing. Uh, the fret end binding is strictly visual at this point. Uh, now this is a rosewood fingerboard uh, because this would have come out I believe in the late 90s or early 2000s, uh, so rosewood was still acceptable. And looks like fake mother of pearl uh, trapezoid inlays. Uh, ironically, these look exactly like the inlays on the Gibson Les Paul I just uh, reviewed earlier. So it is a set neck. And it's a mahogany neck, as you would expect. And it does have a scarf joint there, uh, which the Gibson would not have. And there's your little Made in Korea sticker. Now we can see the uh, mahogany body in there. And this has a maple top with a really nice flame. Now this is uh, called Heritage Cherry. And I would have told you prior to seeing this guitar in person, I'm not a fan of Cherry Burst Les Pauls. I just don't like the red around the edge. <clears throat> but the way this one is done, I have to say, this is one of the best looking Les Pauls I have, I think, ever set my eyes on. And uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. It has made me a believer in a Cherry Burst finish. Now the back is that nice wine not red, not too red, but it's kind of a wine finish. And uh, I've tried to find some seams in there. There's at least at least two pieces of mahogany, I believe, in there. But the, the uh, neck heel is great. The build quality, uh, you know, between these Korean Epiphones and a Gibson of the time period. <clears throat> I hate to say it, but I, I kind of like the Epiphone better. And uh, not to upset anybody, I, I like Gibson's as well. I just love the feel of polyester. I think it's a better finish. <clears throat> and uh, they just, they hold tune a little better. No offense, again, Gibson. Uh, but the, the neck angle is better on an Epiphone. Uh, the strings slide through the nut a little smoother. That being said, like I do love the Gibson logo, uh, so that Epiphone one is not as cool. Um, and the electronics are better in a Gibson. There is just no doubt, you know. This would have dime size little pots in there, uh, which work, but uh, more of an on and off as opposed to uh, with a Gibson, there's a, more of a range of volume, you know. All that stuff. This one has chrome hardware, your typical uh, ABR sort of style bridge. It's the Epiphone version and a stop tailpiece. And this one does have uh, metal strap pins, which is nice. And your control cavities are just like on the Gibson. Exactly what you'd expect. So this one happens to say Gibson on the truss rod cover which is kind of a nice uh, touch 
And that's one of the giveaways you might be looking at a Korean version. <clears throat> For some reason, I like the Epiphone standards better. Um, I had a couple of the dogs that I had were customs. Uh, now the uh, Inspired by Gibson custom that I reviewed, it, it was a top-notch guitar. It was right there with Gibson. Uh, so I guess it is a little more uh, luck of the draw. But this one, fantastic guitar. I would put this up against any any Les Paul out there. So, and it's not my guitar, so that's not pride talking. Uh, this is on loan, and uh, sadly, I'll be giving this back in a day or two. All right, thanks for watching. I'll cut to some sound samples and some uh, close-up photos of some of the things I've talked about. Cheers. Take care.